Hi guys, what's up? So today we are going to explore together about optical flow. So let's get started. I found a great resource about optical flow and I think you know we all should take a look at it. Credit where credit to the authors actually who have written this amazing notes for us. So we'll just see if you can find that real quick. I think this is the one. These notes are amazing. Oh not this one, I'm sorry. Yeah, this one. Um I really really like this one so I think we all should take a look at it so optical flow basically means that you know we we try to understand or track the motion in the video so motion can be recovered from a video in two ways one is that we do feature tracking we try to extract visual features like corners textured areas and track them over multiple frames the second one is we try to recover image motion at pixel level from spatio temporal image brightness variations i know that it sounds really confusing but just be with me and i'm damn sure that you know we'll get through this so spatio temporal image basically means you are doing something over space and across time so this makes sense right because you have got a photo you have got a, a picture and that picture is a space like this one so you have to go across the space and then you have to track something over time so temporal is also important amazing now what we do is we go with some assumptions we assume two things is that the brightness is constant across continuous uh, consecutive frames let's say this is frame 1 this is frame 2 and uh, an object get displaced from here to let's say here you uh, from x it went to x plus u and y plus v now if we compare the brightness i in both the frames assuming that the assuming that these two are consecutive frames we are going to see that the brightness is constant we are going to assume that so that is one assumption in lucas canade optical flow basically the method which we are exploring and the other assumption is that the motion motion should be really small okay now what we do is we won't try to get into this much maths right now what we'll do is we'll try to see how do we write optical flow in open cv so let's begin i'm going to take the code straight from the open cv website um so let me google it really quick lucas canard exactly okay cool so what we do is we will say lucas canare optical flow dot pi so uh, it's okay so we'll try so we'll say import dv2 and then we can just split the window like this So what we are going to do is we need good features to track as well. We are not going to track the um, com every pixel right now, but we are going to select some region of interest sort of a thing which we want to track. So how do you get the specific pic pixels which you want to track across the frame to understand the motion? So what happens is we try to get the corners of an object using Shi Tomasi 
corner detection algorithm and we pass those corners to the next frame and then or to the lucas canardi method which is pre implemented in open cv and then the tracking begins let's do this really quick all right so what i'll do is i have taken a video which is basically given by um comma.ai so it is their hiring challenge and i think you will love their hiring challenge so check them out a uh, shout out to comma.ai because i really like their work so we will see i think github comma this one i will link these things below in the description so make sure that you check them out all right now um so we have initialized the video which we want to read we will say we will set some parameters for shito massey algorithm and lucas canade i'm just going to copy it you don't need to worry about sh how shito massey works to be honest um 10 and uh, we will however worry about lucas canade optical flow so the window size which you see here is very interesting the reason being uh, instead of so how does if you check this notes out instead of having an assumption on per pixel level which we understood in this beginning this one they say what if we have multiple equations along with the constraints for every pixel so that we can try to solve the the whole ecosystem of equations efficiently so and later on they transform those equations into matrix and then they solve it so that is the it is the same kernel or window which you have um, or filter size which uh, you have seen in uh, cnns it is the same idea so 15 cross 15 means you will have uh, 225 equations for every pixel because the, the window will be that big it will be 15 cross 15 and your pixel will lie inside it so what, uh, all the pixels in that 15 dot 15 window will give you an equation which you can solve to calculate the um, lucas canade optical flow and uh, how will you decide where to put the window you get that information from the she tomasi algorithm which we are going to set up so these things are there now what we will do is we'll say we'll create some random colors this is important for visualizations now we do an interesting thing we say that oops sorry we say that okay let me um read the first frame okay uh we'll name it as old frame so i am basically just copying the uh, the, the code as it is however i'm trying to explain the code um along the way so that is what we are doing here um uh, we'll say cap dot read so this we will read the first frame we'll convert the frame to grayscale because that is necessary and then we will extract sorry so we'll convert it to grayscale what am i doing not really sure what's happening here right now finally all right so now the we need to convert the bgr so opencv reads in bgr format okay and we need to convert it to gray because the shitomasi works only on grayscale images now we will pass this equation here to calculate the initial points from shitom uh, from the first frames which we can use uh, to calculate the consecutive frames now you cannot start tracking from the first frame itself right because you need to understand what you're going to track about um what you are going to track actually so this this problem is actually uh present in all the tracking algorithm be it deep sort or some other tracking algorithm um write in write down in comments below if you really want uh, an explanation of deep sort i would love to do that so i will create a mask for drawing purposes Q 
food now what we'll do is we'll try to read the stream and we'll say current frame so this will be the second frame which we are going to read and we are going to convert it to grayscale again i'm going to copy these things because i don't want to waste too much time here i want to keep this video crisp because usually my videos are not that crisp i try to i mean not try to actually but i digress a lot from the topic and i'm trying to stick to the main topic here right now so what we are doing here is that we are calculating point p1 from the initial point p0 that is the first frame the features which we have extracted from the first frames uh the good features to track that we have initialized uh we have given to the local scanade optical flow method uh, which is which you can implement with this function in open cv you need to pass the old frame the gray scaled frame the i mean the new frame the current frame the first frame the current frame um p0 and some parameters if you have great so now we will select some good points out of that we'll just mm -hmm. filter something out and then we are going to draw the tracks as well so i'm going to you know just copy everything um because these things are not i think it is obvious so i won't explain these things now what we do is we update the old gray um and p0 variables so we are going to say that the old gray which was the first frame now will become the current frames copy um now can you do you guys know that this copy is a shallow copy or it's a deep copy um write down in the comments below if you know the answer and then we also change the point p0 so that the p0 is actually the second frames point we will say all the good points which has which have been extracted here just reshape it in such a way that i can make use of it in the next loop and then we are done that is all so we'll destroy all the windows and then we'll also release the cat cool so the code seems to be complete let's run it and check how this works all right oh damn it never works like that it will always no matter how hard i try to save your time but problems like these oh it is zeros like or all right so if you guys can see here closely now i'll re i'll restart the video okay and let's let's focus on the video um from the start you can rewind so check this out now i the two points were initialized and the two points are going back now here in this car similar to on this car if you see uh the point and uh, even on the bus actually the points are initialized by shri shri tomasi algorithm because th these are the corners and then they are going in that uh, in in uh, in forward direction so that is what is being tracked now um if you want me to solve the comma ai hiring challenge let me know um i'll try to do it in a live stream or maybe in a series of recorded videos and i hope that you enjoyed the video you understood a few things about lucas canard optical flow method so it's a method to to object tracking um it's a old school method actually um a newer uh, tracking algorithms are available still look uh, i mean optical flow uh, uh, is really really useful in uh, in things like encoding um if you see the mpeg videos and all mp4 those things are um they use optical flow to compress the frames down so that is um how why, why this thing is really useful and and you can use it in a lot of places it's a nice tool to have in your quiver now um there are some limitations to uh, lucas canade as well that the brightness should not change a lot um the other thing 
is that the motion in the consecutive frame should not be too high there are ways to overcome it like you can use feature pyramids etc to make lucas canade even more robust uh, and using feature uh, feature pyramid is um very easy uh, in open cv um you can just google it and you will know what i'm talking about so that's all for this video guys i hope that you like the video um see you again next time bye bye